Well, the targets have been replaced. It's time for the gold medal match here in the Compounds Men's Open Team event at the 2019 World Archery Para Championships. And it's Turkey versus Iran. Well, Turkey came through the ranking round with a 20-48 to be ranked fifth taking out Australia in the quarterfinals and then Ukraine. Iran shot a 20-63 in the ranking round to be ranked second and they took out Malaysia and then Canada to get through, sorry, China in the semi-finals to get through to this gold medal match. So it's Turkey versus Iran. Please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the Compound Man Open Team Gold Medal Match. On target number one. Well, coming out first on target number one, it's Turkey. Erdogan Aigan. Edouan Ayan, Bulent Korkmaz and Murat Turan. And here we have the opponents on target number two, representing the Islamic Republic of Iran. Their contenders for the World Championship title of 2019 is Iran. Biyabani. So Ramizan Biyabani. Alicina Manzheas there in the middle. And Hadi Nori on your right. This team won the silver medal at the last edition of the World Championships in 2017 and are looking to go one up better here against a sprightly Turkey. Iran getting their chairs in order. The coach there assisting with that. As you saw there, Nori just adjusting his back support. Everything has to feel the same in order for these archers to have the best chance of consistently good shooting. It looks like the Iranian team are ready to go. But shooting on target one, Turkey will get us off the mark. Kormaz following Turan. Nine. Making an immediate adjustment to his sight. Dropping three points in the first three arrows. Not a bad start from the Turkish team. Seven. Ten. 
good response to the seven. Nine. But despite that ten and nine, leaves Iran trailing by a single point halfway through the first end. Longish hold here. Yeah, that two and really taking his time on aim. We'll see Murat in the gold medal match individually here in Satokenbosch. Nine. Well, they've set a target, which means Iran have to shoot a perfect 30 now. We said before these wheelchairs are all customized to the archers, but nice touch from Iran. They've all got the same decoration, same branding on the on the wheel guards. Well, uh, it, it could have been a lot better than that for Iran. They trail by four, having dropped an eight in the last arrow. Erdogan, Ayan there, falling into the eight, which means Turkey have a four-point lead. It's early days here, but uh, you'd rather be in the Turkish camp. Yeah, it's a bit of the same that we saw from Iran, it, it, it's sort of from Ukraine in the previous match. It's, uh, it's not tight, it's just loose. Turkey, on the other hand, are tight. Yeah, very tight indeed. And those three tens, uh, the third, fourth, and fifth arrows were the ones that made a big difference and showed perhaps that Turkey have even more to offer. Well, a lot of support for the uh, Turkish fans in the crowd. A rich history of uh, the sport of archery in Turkey. One of the oldest archery centers in the world in Istanbul. Oktula uh, Vakfi was, was founded for archery in about four, 1450, the, the, about over 500 years ago. And actually some of these para archers practice at that center in Istanbul. We saw the W1 archers wearing the wristband of the, of the facility. Yeah, fascinating centre, that archery centre dating back a long time and a world record uh, or a distance record that is almost unthinkable of what, 800 odd metres. In the good old days in Istanbul, records were all about long distance shooting. Nowadays, the distance is 50 metres for compound archers. And that's what we're shooting today. Well. Iran trailing at the start of the second end. We'll shoot first. Ramazan Birbani starting with an eight. Ten. 
It's another 10 to start for Alessina, man's highest day. So there are two targets, two target faces on each target. And the teams can shoot them in any order, as long as there are three arrows in each by the end of each end. Nine. So far, Murat Turan, who's in the individual gold medal match, has had the worst record of any of the Turkish men. Nine. It's got time to settle things down, though. Well, far a better end for Iran. Just 52 in the first end, a 57 in the second. And they put a bit of pressure on Turkey. And look what pressure can do. Point lead for Turkey coming into the second end. And they've already given up three of those points. And just like that, we see that the final arrow from Turkey is subject to a measure. But uh, if it stays a nine, Iran have had a five point swing in this match and uh, just when we thought Turkey were going to run away with it after a brilliant start Iran shoot four tens in that end and that was enough to put the pressure on the Turkish team and notionally take the lead at the very least the four tens will mean the score is level team just looking down to, to see what the measure is going to be called on that final arrow from Turkey Target judge calling in the result. And it does remain a nine for Turkey. And that means a four point lead has dissolved and they now trail by a single point at the halfway stage. It's a gigantic swing over only one end. Neither team's been consistent over those first 12 hours. One good end for Turkey, one good end for Iran. So at the halfway stage, Turkey trailing by a single point in this gold medal match. 
they will start the third end. And it's Murat Turan to get us underway. Courtmas has uh, quite a quick action, doesn't he? He doesn't rest his thumb on the release and then pull to activate. He aims in the middle and then he clicks when he wants to go. It's a, it's a, it's an accurate way of shooting, but it's very difficult to maintain that way of shooting because it, it kind of brings in trigger anticipation. Uh, it takes a lot of mental fortitude to do that well for a long time. Well, a 29 out of a possible 30 for Turkey puts some pressure on Iran. But uh, Ramizan Mirbani starts with a 10 in the third end for them. Mans Hayesdi matches it. So, all square at the halfway stage in the third end, which means Iran maintain their one-point lead. Tehran was just adjusting his sight in between his arrows. But he's still going low. He's been going low all match. Those, those arrow holes on the right target, the ones below the gold, at the bottom of the gold, they're all from him. It can be quite difficult to look at groups in the team event because there are three different archers that make up that group. So it, it's down to each archer to kind of remember where his arrows landed and build a picture over the course of the match. And it's not many arrows either. It's not many arrows to build that picture. And then, of course, you've got to take into account what your teammates are saying to you about the conditions, about the wind. Earlier on, it was about the rain, but the sun's come out here. It's four seasons in one day in Sertgenbosch. So a 10 to square things up in the third end and for Iran to keep their one-point lead. That's a nine, 165 points each, and we're back to zero, back to square one. Six arrows to decide this world champion title. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been an, an interesting one with uh, Turkey looking, at, well, just in dominant form after the first end, a four-point lead, a massive swing of five points put uh, Iran one point ahead and well there's nothing between them in the third end it's kind of settled down if you like but I suppose if we're trying to look for any kind of indicator Turkey have shot a 56 of 52 and now just shot a 57 uh, and if anything they're sort of driving forwards and Iran a 52 a 57 in the second followed by a 56 so going backwards, the question is, can uh, Turkey improve on that 57? Uh, have Iran found their level around about 56, 57? Neither of these teams dropped below a 228-point match in the eliminations before before this final. Both will here. 
So again, we're not shooting at the same level we saw in eliminations, but that's very understandable. During the eliminations phase, the both teams are on the line at the same time. They just have to shoot their six arrows within the two-minute time frame. It's not alternating like it is here in the arena. And of course, you don't have the crowd, you don't have the drama, you don't have the, the tension. Uh, it's everything, isn't it? And the music, the presentation, the whole thing about being there. And, and look at what's facing them. Uh, aside from these targets that we're looking at, the backdrop is one of uh, the most spectacular buildings in Northern Europe. I mean, how often is an archer going to be shooting looking at that kind of thing? And there's the uh, crowd we're talking about. Turkish fans cheering on Ayan Turan and Korkmaz. So with the scores level in this fourth end, Turkey go back to shooting first. Still low, low again. He's got to get that sorted before he comes out for his individual final. Do you think any part of the fact that he's coming back out onto the field of play here is playing on his mind that there is a chance for a, an individual medal? If it is, it's wrong. He should be focusing on the arrows in front of him. So, a 25. That really is a big opportunity for Iran here. died right off the sun is out here yeah. and when that happens and the conditions are this good you do get high scores and a 29 out of 30 for Iran has put them in the driving seat all Turkey can do here is score as highly as they possibly can to put some pressure on the Iranians Finally, finally, Yonat Turan's been handing low arrows down to the target for the duration of this match, but he's finally come up and found the middle again. So a 29 in the fast, last three arrows for Turkey out of a possible 30. That is some pressure, but there is a big opportunity for Iran. A possible 59 on the cards for them in this end alone. Well, that makes things more interesting. Still 57, a possible total score for Iran so still a bit of breathing room yeah. so now Easy. a big opportunity this last arrow needs to be eight or more for Iran to take the world championship title And again, finishing with a flourish. It's marked as a nine. It's more than enough. It's possible that's going to get marked up to a 10. And I think it probably just did before the score went off there. And uh, Iran have taken the world title in a very topsy-turvy match. 
Yeah, they started with a 52. It wasn't looking good, um, but they came straight back. 57, 56, 57. That's solid shooting. That's world champion level shooting. And that's what has won them. Yeah. Iran deserving winners in the end, a 57, 56, 57, as Chris said, to finish off his good shooting. Those uh, same three ends from Turkey saw a 52 amongst them, and uh, really that's what uh, did the damage. A 54 at the end wasn't enough, and there is a confirmation that Alessina Manzheya's day, Hadi Nori and Ramizan Biabani have taken Iran to the world title.